new Infinity QX 52018 review. We find out if clever VCT engine tech can make the new Infinity QX 50 SUV a big player. It's been three years since the QX50 disappeared from Infinity's showrooms in the UK, and now a new version is poised to go on sale. It'll land in America first, with sales in Europe following in about 12 months. Infinity's new 2.0-liter four-cylinder variable compression turbo VCT, engine is under the bonnet, which we've already sampled in an early QX50 prototype. However, this is our first chance to see just how it behaves in what is virtually the finalized production car. The QX50 has undergone a complete transformation, with an all-new platform underpinning a clean sheet design. Unlike its predecessor, which was based on the rear-drive G-Series saloon, the new QX50 uses a transverse engine with either front or four-wheel drive. This makes for a radical change of proportions compared with the old model, although the view out over the bonnet looks faintly familiar. What really sets the Infiniti QX50 apart is its petrol-fueled VCT engine, the first variable compression ratio unit to enter volume production. The engine uses a motor-actuated linkage attached to the crankshaft to change the length of the piston stroke by up to 1.2 mm, enough to vary the compression ratio from 8 to 1 to 14 to 1, and displacement from 1,970cc to 1,997cc. The engine runs in a low compression setting for maximum power, when demands are low it switches to high compression mode for better economy. Infinity is so confident in the engine that it plans to make it the only option worldwide. It certainly packs a punch. The output of the 2.0-liter turbo four-cylinder is 268 bhp and 380 newton meters, which is slightly down from the 325 bhp and 362 newton meters of the previous model's petrol V6. But it's more efficient and almost as quick, delivering 0 to 62 miles per hour in 6.7 seconds. The variable compression function is undetectable, save for a display on the dashboard that shows the engine switching to high power mode with anything more than a gentle prod of the accelerator. Pickup is strong and immediate, while the stepped operation of the CVT makes it easy to forget it's not a geared transmission. European fuel economy figures have yet to be announced, but Infinity is expecting a 32.4 miles per gallon rating in the US, a 35% improvement over the old model. Our test drive comprised city driving, aggressive hilly roads and relaxed motorway cruising, and we averaged a disappointing 24.3 miles per gallon. We'll have to wait for a full test on UK roads to determine if the VCT engine will really deliver what it promises. And what of the rest of the drive? The QX50 is competent, but not particularly thrilling. Grip is good, but the optional steer-by-wire system offers little in the way of feedback, and the suspension jostled us over the smaller bumps and floated over big ones. We can only hope that European QX50s are set up better. Interior quality is good, and the basic layout is similar to that of the Q50, the upper of the two screens displays a moving map and the lower is used for infotainment and climate controls. The new platform has an emphasis on interior space, so there are major improvements to both the rear seat and luggage carrying areas. The QX50 offers more legroom in the rear seats than the larger Lexus RX does, although there isn't much space for your feet under the low-mounted front seats. Boot capacity is 895 liters, US measurement, expandable to 1048 liters by sliding the rear seats forward, and 1699 liters by folding them down. Key specs Model, Infinity QX50 2.0 VCT Auto Price, TBC Engine, 2.0 liter 4 sil turbo Power slash torque 268 bhp slash 380 newton meters transmission cvt automatic all-wheel drive 0 to 62 miles per hour 6.7 seconds top speed 143 miles per hour economy co2 na on sale late 2018